what's going on people it's gbp baby it's currently 11 37 p.m on monday the 29th of may 2023 it's been a bank holiday today so price has been very very consolidated and so um there hasn't been much price action so i do suggest you go watch my weekly review because not much has changed although there are a couple there are a couple of things which i want to wanted to mention that i forgot to mention yesterday so we'll get straight into it um so this is what my charts have been looking like this orange box is a weekly a weekly inverted fair value gap i mentioned this in my weekly review that i posted yesterday so it's this fair value gap here it's been dragged out we traded through it down on the downside through the upside so now this should act as a bullish um we should find support here when price trades down to it and that's what i'm expecting price to reach for and then if we drop down to the daily i've got my eyes on this bullish order block here this daily order block um i marked out the 50 percent level off that which is a mean threshold and that's what we have here and that's as far as i want to see price go down before i see it turn around and then i've obviously got my eyes on this sell side liquidity resting here and obviously this on, on the more short term um last week we traded to the 50 percent of this but um i'm not going to go into that because i explained all of that on um in my weekly review posted yesterday so cool so if you look um, at today's price action um you can, as you can see not much happened i'll drop down to the hourly and we can see that we've literally just um, been trading within this range we created a swing high here swing low here so you can see how the market's engineering liquidity on both sides buy side sell side and on the four hour i marked out this wick because this is acting as a rejection block the reason i know this is a rejection block is because when price traded into it here we see price turn away and traded lower so now that means that when price returns back into this area it should do the same thing and should turn around we've also engineered this swing high here and again in my weekly review i did state that i, I wouldn't be surprised if price engineered um, some kind of buy side liquidity to get taken before moving lower because i am anticipating lower prices so yeah we'll stick we'll drop down to the hourly and um what i'd like i've also marked out this bearish order block rest in here this is where i'd like to see price trade up to and no higher um this again stated yesterday so i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go into that too much and then after it trades up here i do want to see it start running into this south side liquidity obviously into the longer term south side liquidity and then into this bullish daily order block which i mentioned earlier so there's really not much going on um this is a really short video to be honest <laughs> I didn't expect much to go on because again it's bank holiday and also there's not much news other than foreign uh, non-farm payroll which is on friday so i'm expecting volatility then but up until then i'm not expecting too much to be happening in the market so um obviously we'll keep an eye on things i am planning on trading so i'll try i'll keep you guys updated with that but right now i want to i've got my eyes on this swing high getting tagged for liquidity and i want to be selling above here um another thing that i forgot to mention as well in my weekly review was the fact that um which adds to confluence as to why i want to see price trade to this level which is this price here 1.22385 is because if we look at the total trading range of the daily from this low to this high we can see that that level rests at the 50 percent level of this range so regardless we know that price tends to always returns um price has a tendency to return to equally equilibrium meaning that once price does reach down here we can expect some kind of reaction or some some kind of reversal or retracement to happen from here so that's also adding a uh, reason as to why i want to see price reach down into this area and then turn around accordingly another thing i'd like to i'd like to mention as well on the four hour is the fact that this uh where this rejection block is where i've marked this out this actually traded into a previous bullish order block and turned around so if we look at this bl block here this four hour down candle this is a bullish order block and since we traded lower and traded back into it i'll just mark it out like this you can see how price wicked into it and turned around wicked to the 50 percent level which would technically be um which would technically be um as you know me threshold 
wick to it and turned around this is again adding reason as to why i want to see i'm expecting price to be turning around from these levels around here and i think this would be a perfect entry for sell and yeah that's pretty much it, it was, i just found it quite interesting because this would then be acting as an inverted order block and this is very common in price action for you know once we trade through it once we trade past an order block a, bear, a bullish order block like this when price returns to it it should act as resistance and that's what we saw happen here again given more reason as to why i don't really want to see price trade above this high this high yes because this is engineered but this high no but yeah that brings us to the end of this video it's only been five minutes 30 seconds i hope you learned something i hope you grasp grasp grasped some information or some understanding um i am going to quickly mark out my shorter term expectations for buy side liquidity resting here i would suggest you guys do the same i want to be selling from above here and i want to be releasing my stops around below here here or here but i do expect price to definitely trade up into this buy side liquidity that's all from me this has been gbp baby and um, hopefully we reach 100 subscribers very soon because we're on like 97 right now so thank you everyone for subscribing and i'll catch you tomorrow peace